Good evening. Let's hear it for America. That wasn't quite good enough. One more time. Let me take you on a little trip back in time. The year is 1986, it's December. You and your young spouse find a house that you want. Can't quite afford it, but you're going to work it out. January 1987, you have an uncle. His uncle, your uncle's name is Ted. Because your, his father, the man who owns the bank, said he's going to help you. Now, you don't quite trust this Uncle Ted because he's been known to drink a little bit. He was involved in this little incident with a car and a girl who lost her life. But nonetheless, this is your Uncle Ted. And the bank president said, he's out to help you. You think about Uncle Ted for a little while and you say, well, you know, he's got his thing, but, you know, we voted for him. And he had a brother who was a hero who died for America. He was an honorable man. He had another brother who died for America. So we're going to stick up. We're going to go with Uncle Ted. And Uncle Ted says, come on in, folks. We're going to sign a mortgage, and you're going to move into your home January 1987. Uncle Ted comes in with a mortgage document of 13 pages. You say, hey, Uncle Ted, that looks pretty good. The bank, the bank president says... It's time. We're going to use this. So you sit down to this 13 pages, and Uncle Ted says, I'm making several promises on this mortgage. One thing, this house is going to come with a picket fence. You're going to be secure in this home. Your bill is always going to be the same. Your interest rate will always be the same. You will be able to choose how you live and where you live in the American way. nineteen ninety two you're in the same house you're paying the same mortgage nothing's changed but now people are walking across your yard you think that's a little odd but we're nice people we're not going to yell for somebody walking across our yard are we we live in a good neighborhood nineteen ninety four still paying the same mortgage now you've gotten this little increase in the mail saying your interest rate went up. But because you want to help out the bank president and all the other people in the bank who just want to have a better life, you don't complain. You pay the higher rate and your mortgage doubles. 2007. You come home with this same mortgage that was signed in 1986 and you took it on in 1987. When you get to your front door, you notice the doorknob's gone. When you get through the house, you notice that there's people camping in the backyard. See, this is a little strange. You look across, and you see your neighbor's got the same situation, except, you know, maybe he's got a few pop-up campers, and his grass is a little bit better. A month later, you come home, and you don't have a front door. Your bill is now double. You're now paying for the guy who lives next to you to see the doctor. And you're looking at your mortgage and saying, there's none of that in there. That's promised to be secured. There are promises made and promises not kept. You further look around and the damn door is gone. In fact, there's a KOA in your background. <music> Ladies and gentlemen, that is the exact thing that's going on today that you can relate to how the 1986 amnesty bill worked. You are dealing with the same set of promises from the same set of people. Look how well they have done. You know, I, I, um, 
You know, I've heard all the, the rhetoric, you know, you've heard it too, about how this is amnesty. Am, amnesty means that you've got to pay, you know, a price for having been here illegally, and this bill does that. ...to the bank and say, we're going to make some changes. And guess what? Uncle Ted is still there. Now you have a new bank president who says, we're just here to help everybody get a mortgage because we all want to have good houses and we all want to have good home. So Uncle Ted come, comes in, he says, I'm going to help you now. Let, let's get you a new mortgage. Sorry. One more. Oh, 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 not so fast. We got to complete this mortgage. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the new mortgage that Ted Kennedy and George Bush want you to sign with the same safety, security, and promises of the 13 pages of 1986. You want to know what the biggest difference is? Out of the 1,300 pages of this new bill, you can't look at 400 of them. Trust this one. pages on a new bill that you can't even review. Most senators and congressmen are not even able to review it. All that we're being told is it's unavailable for review. And we have idiotic congressmen and senators who are going to vote on a bill when 13 pages they couldn't get right. No doubt most of them probably didn't read those. We're expected to trust people with 400 pages that we can't review. Are we going to accept that? No. Are we going to accept that from anybody regardless of party? No. Do we realize that this is not a party issue, this is an American issue? Yes. We are not against anybody. We are for the upholding of the law. We are for the actual legitimate legal immigration. We are not here to provide a safety net for the world. As much as our hearts and souls say we want to have these people live the best lives they can, we cannot continue to sacrifice our own and our safety. We are in a so-called war against terror. Our war against terror has totally eliminated our border. It is impossible for the Border Patrol to work. It is impossible for your tax dollars to do their job because they're not allowed to even report for duty. How can we be at a war on terror? when we have 28 million illegal aliens crossing the southern border. 